As part of the Black History Month celebration, Brookhaven leaders are displaying a local artist's work around the city. Atlanta Now News reporter Valencia Jones shows us the painter's close ties to the community's rich history. The colors that you see are always going to be bright and um, powerful because I want to make an impact. These beans that you see are representations, my representation of souls. 32-year-old Taria Clark says her artistic journey is a spiritual one. It all started when she was two years old. Ever since I was a child, I always had a love and a liking and a connection to art. I went to Champlain Middle and High School. They had a really great art program. And then I went to Georgia State for fine arts as well. Her work displayed at the Atlanta Dogwood Festival and the state capitol. The journey also celebrates her roots in Brookhaven's historic Linwood Park, known as the oldest black community in North DeKalb County, and dates back to the early 1900s. This was a very tight-knit, small black community, so that within itself has influenced my personal outlook on life. Brookhaven selected her work to display across the city for its annual Black History Month celebration. I'm truly grateful and I'm honored because this has been a phenomenal experience. It was a no-brainer. She's a Linwood Park resident. She has family in Linwood Park. Her art is about Linwood Park, and Linwood Park is Brookhaven. Her artwork is showcased at City Hall, Explore Brookhaven, and in the Linwood Park Recreation Center. Her work at the Windsor Osborne Crosswalk also captures the Linwood Park heritage, where the city unveiled markers last June, celebrating the community's history. My family as well, they've always been very supportive. She's got a God-gifted talent that I'm very proud of her and always going to be there to support her. Clark says she's also thankful for those who have opened doors for black artists. The sky is truly the limit. There shouldn't be a reason to not go for that dream. Brookhaven will have her work on display through February. They're also posting interviews of historic figures and community leaders on social media. Valencia Jones, Atlanta Now News.